angry at me. Sweet, that was a good fish. Got that on the Ganterelle by Jackal. I upgraded the hooks on there to some Trapper Tackle hooks and add some red duck feathers. Give it a little more like a bleeding gill pattern. But one of the things I was saying is that this lake is one of the few lakes that's managed for specifically for bass primarily. But one of the things I've noticed with this lake, especially compared to other regional lakes, is the bass fishing quality really isn't that great. There's actually other multi-species lakes or lakes that they don't really want bass in where the bass fishing is actually better. Um, they do enforce the slot limit here like any other lake, but this lake does get a lot of pressure, especially from meat anglers. Um, and bass are susceptible to overharvest, especially large bass, when they're spawning near shore in the spring. So I wrote a letter to WDFW expressing some concern about the status of this fishery, and lo and behold, I got an email back um, asking if I'd be interested in joining them out here for some electro sampling to kind of see how the bass population's been doing. This lake's been monitored at least two other times in the past couple decades. So were you guys scheduled to do a survey this year or you just did it because I shot you an email? Yeah, Cool, thanks man. Is this about what you expected to see out there? I didn't know what to expect, right? So, I hear fishtails all day long. I fish this lake two or three times a year. I've never had an awesome day out here, but I've never hit it at the right time either. Huh. You know? So, it's good though. What would you consider today for you? Average? Out here, average. fishing. Pretty average, you know? It's like, I've never got into... I don't get into the like plus 20s here consistently like I do in the other lakes. Mm -hmm. um, so I do feel like this lake has a lot of the you know those slot fish in here or just above. I always catch 18s and 19s here, but the 20 pluses are just hard to come by. Mm -hmm. The last time Whitestone Lake was sampled using similar techniques to what you observed in this video was in 2015 when they sampled around 300 bass. Uh, at an average rate of about 150 per hour. And what you see here in this graph is a frequency histogram of the different size classes of fish sampled during that sampling period. 
And across the bottom, you'll see the length in millimeters. And then on the left hand side, you got your percent frequency. And I've also uh, illustrated the slot limit in there because in Washington state, we do enforce a slot limit on largemouth bass. So that is between the sizes of 12 and 17 inches, which is approximately 310 to 430 millimeters. Uh, it is illegal to harvest largemouth bass. Below that, you can harvest your limit, and above that, you can harvest just one per day. And what you can see is that there's a pretty level distribution of bass, uh, different size classes of bass in 2015 in Whitestone Lake, with small bumps right there on either end of the slot limit. Now let's contrast that with the 2019 sampling that we did in this video. Uh, we sampled around 170 bass. We only sampled about half the shoreline, so we got about 170 per hour. And we ignored uh, a lot of those smaller bass, so it's a little bit skewed towards a larger size because we were more interested in seeing how healthy the large largemouth bass population is and what you see here is that there's a large number of fish on the upper end or just beyond that slot size so there's a lot of fish in that 16 to 18 inch range in whitestone lake right now so those are really good quality bass but what you will note as i noted earlier in the video is that there are very few bass well above 20 inches and while that might be generally true for most washington lakes um, it is a bit of a disappointment to me to see um, one of the few lakes that's managed exclusively for largemouth bass um, not really supporting those really large fish that I know do exist in some other nearby lakes. That being said, the lake has got a great population of really quality uh, largemouth bass and at any trip out there you're bound to come into contact with some plenty of sort of three to four pound largemouth. Now I do want to say a special thanks to WDFW for responding to my concerns about the health of this lake, um, especially Ryan Fortier and Mike Schmuck, District 6 and 5 uh, fish biologists respectively, and Mark Peterson of the Warm Water Fisheries Program based out of Euphreda. I'm going to post a link to the PDF which contains a full details of our sampling efforts and contrast those with 2015's results. Um, in the comments section below. If you have any questions um, about Whitestone Lake, about the sampling, or bass fishing in general, be sure to put them in the comments below, or you can reach out to uh, Mark Peterson there in the Afreda office. Uh, that's all I have for you. Uh, be sure and hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, and hit that subscribe button so you're up to date with the latest content coming out of Spilt Milk Productions. And I'll see you next time. Be safe out on the water, catch lots of fish, and have fun, because that's what it's all about. See you guys.